your Edmonton Oilers rookie team. Six players from Sherwood Park and a number of others from the area. A lot of local talent on display and off the rush a shot by Colin Larkin. Coaching the Oilers rookies tonight. A big hit on the far side and that was landed. Smythe stays with it. Controls down low in the left corner. This is a good job by Polai in front and a quick shot by McLeod. Juggled and then held by Dave. Off the plexiglass. Benson will give it right back to him. Another shot from the point. Redirected. Quick chance and a save made by Dave. And it was sitting there in the slot for a moment before being cleared to the corner by Goddess. Back in front. Benson wide open. Reach the score. And finally the Oiler rookies break through. Benson to Ryan McLeod who buries it. And finally Edmondson is able to score a goal against Nate McEwen after dominating this first period. Well, there again, two second round draft choices that the Oilers need to make some hay with. Ryan McLeod finishing off, but the presence of mind for Tyler Benson, and we've already seen Jack, he's a playmaker. He can flat out uh, find guys open on the ice. He had an opportunity to shoot the puck and said he swung it, got deflected off a stick, and McLeod went down on one knee at a yawning cage, and no chance for Mark Olivier Day. Ola streaking down the middle. He'll hit the line. Drop pass. McLeod across to Caleb Jones. Has Dig down and out. Wrap around score. Period. Caleb Jones makes it 2 0. Edmonton Oiler rookies. Oiler rookies caught Nate McEwen in transition. And Jones has been very active. He's a dynamic skater. There's no question about that. Jumped up, joined the rush. It was a four on two. And he picked the puck up on the short side and wrapped it around. The goal, a yawning cage as Olivier Digg, right uh, skate Kopek on the back side. Benson, another assist. Finding Jones back door. Any one of three or four players might have scored that goal. And they really had Nate McEwen swimming a bit on that rush. A bit Off differential here. Five on three, still in effect for another minute. As Edmondson looks to build on a 2 0 lead. McLeod in front, deflected, quick shot, and scores. Tyler Benson found a loose puck right side of the net, and he's got a goal and two assists tonight. It's 3-0. Edmonton Oiler rookies. Well, not much of a chance here for Mark Olivier Digg. A lot of skill on the ice for the Oiler rookies, and the two guys in the fence. Uh, Bouchard might get some power play time in Edmonton, at least in the start of the year, and I think the whole day we're going to see for Jay Woodcroft is going to spend some time with the power play down on the minors. And uh, they threw it around, and then the Oilers just you know, out man. Nate McEwen down low. Puck shit off the skate. Benson's right there. Yanni Cage in the net. He'll hit the line with speed. Shimmy his way into the high slot area. Another lost stick on the ice. Quick wrist shot score. Jones set up Colin Larkin and he buried it. And that's the first shot we've seen Mark Olivier Dague have a reasonable chance to stop and not do it. 4 0 Edmonton. Well, Jones gained zone entry, and it was a one-man zone entry as that. Came down the right side, and then Button hooked right through the middle of the ice. Serpentined his way, and uh, Larkin was a pretty good uh, point producer for Division three last year. The Oilers taking a swing on him. Fired one home, and as you mentioned, probably one that Olivier Digg would like to have back. Off the draw, just took that one easily. Up the right-hand side, Maximoff tried to center. Smacked into the corner by Danielson, quick shot, Lagason, that was blocked. Smythe didn't clear, Maximoff shot, score. Squeezed it through the wickets of Brendan Jensen, and that inability to clear the puck out of their own end finally catches up with Nate as Maximoff has his first. Uh, Kirill Maximoff was very impressive last year at the uh, Oilers rookie tournament, uh, played in Penticton, scored a winner in over overtime with one of the games. He hasn't had a lot of puck luck, and that time he finally got some. Just sipped the quick one through. Jensen into the net. Time two minutes of this third period, and it's 5 0 Edmonton. Shot clock is 40 to 12. And VC with a nice interior feed off that turnover. Diego. Well, that's making, San that's Diego making. Sports Arena, where Dallas Akins is now the coach. Here's Lagason. Quick shot, save made, rebound score. And it's Tyler Vessel who has had numerous opportunities, and that one a backhander, he's able to slide home on the rebound. 6-0, second power play goal of the game. This one at 3.59 in the third period. 
about starting that up right now and you win a face off on a power play you have the puck and Yanni Cage at the saddle and that for Vessel Lagason shot Vessel tipped it on its way to the yep. goaltender actually kind of created the rebound from which he Man scored Strallen. sets a screen for Luke Esposito coming out of the right corner wrist shot score it went right through his defenseman Austin Uremchuk and I'm not sure Jensen ever saw that puck until nope. it was through him. Well, Luke Esposito played four years at Harvard. He's got a pretty famous uncle. You may have heard of him before, Mark Messier. Helped lead the Crimson to two conference championships yeah. while at Harvard. And just butt hooked and let one fly. And Jensen was pretty deep in the crease. He's faced a lot of rubber here. And I went right through the legs of the defenseman. Uh, seven zip. And then through Jensen's legs. Seven nothing. Seven goals on this. The outlet pass on target for Marodi. Right wing forced out wide. Threw it on net where it's poked home. His second goal of the game, and it's eight nothing. Time 14.04. Yeah, we mentioned before Ryan McLeod, you know, could he be an Eric Hall type of player because he can really skate. That play started all the way back with the defensive zone support. And then Marodi just bided his time until McLeod drove the lane hard and he fired a pass in front. McLeod got a tip on it past Jensen. Eight nothing. And a real heads up play there as well from Cooper Marodi. Four third period. Keep it. Now to Jones. Moves it over to Bouchard. Gets it back. Right circle. Loads. Fires and scores. Two goals, two assists for Caleb Jones. That one set up by Bouchard. Nine nothing. Not much to say there. I mean, the other rookies were able to complete an entire uh, ozone line change. And Bouchard with a lot of poise with Jones just to give and go, and there's a net front presence on the play. Actually, two other rookie players in front of the net. And Jensen's body language pretty much says it all. Not much of a chance for him beating to the short side. Ball cleared safely out and brought up ice by McKinnon. He centers back door, and Nate McEwen on the board. As Ryan Baskerville spoils the shutout bid for the Edmonton Oilers rookies with a minute 52 left in the third period. And you can hear the crowd explode in appreciation for an effort right to the finish line. McKinnick, a beautiful look, and Baskerville makes no mistake. A turnover just outside the, uh, just inside the blue line. And the other rookies were in a bit of a backpedal. Kittyak, as you mentioned, with a real good play and an easy tap in for basketball. 